How to use Monday.com for HR. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can use Monday.com to monitor your HR. Before we start, what is Monday.com? Monday.com is a cloud-based team management platform that helps team collaborate, manage tasks and projects, and track progress in real time. It is a visual and intuitive platform that offers a range of customizable templates for different project types including marketing, software development, HR, and more. Monday.com provides teams with a centralized workspace where they can share files, assign tasks, set deadlines, and communicate with each other in real time. The platform offers a variety of features including Kanban boards, Gantt charts, timelines, custom fields, and automation that enables teams to streamline their workflow and increase productivity. Now to begin with, the first thing we're going to do is to click on Get Started on the bottom over here. Now this will redirect us to the sign up page where we can continue with Google or your company email. Now for me, I'm going to continue with Google. And then after signing up, you will be redirected. And then after signing up, you will be asked over here on what we want to do with Monday.com. I'm going to click on Personal, click on Continue. Then we would select what we would like to manage first. We're going to select more because we're not seeing what we need. There it is. We're going to click on HR and recruiting. We're going to click on continue. Then it's going to ask us if we need any help with editing. I'm simply going to click on continue. And then last question, it will ask us how we heard about it. You can choose any options over here from where you heard Monday.com. But for now, I'm going to click on others. And then I'm going to click continue. And then almost there, we're simply going to put in our full name and account name. I'm going to put in Coffee World. And then click on agree to terms and services. And then continue. Now we will be shown this screen over here where we can invite our teammates by simply inputting their emails over here. And then clicking on invite your teammates. I'm going to click on remind me later. And then we will see the screen over here where it's going to ask us to name our board. I'm simply going to name it HR Tutorial. Then click on Next. And then we can select one of the items we would like to manage. We can simply click on Tasks, Projects, and Employees. For now, I'm going to go with Employees because we're going to focus on the HR. And we're going to click on Next. And then we can choose the view layout. We can choose from Table. We can choose Gantt. Timeline, Kanban, Cards, or a Calendar. We're going to go with Table for now. Click on Next. Then we can name our employee over here. We need to click on Next. And then we could group our employees by simply adding the name over here. For example, I'm going to put here First Week. And then for the second, I'm going to add First Month. Then we're going to click on Get Started. Now this will create our workspace over here, which we are seeing right now. And we can see here in the middle, we have the first week for our employee and then the second month over here. We can add a new group by simply clicking this button over here. Then we can add a new group. Then we can simply name it to be interviewed. And then change the color by clicking that box and change it to green, just like that. Now as we can see here on the top, we could add a new employee through this button over here. And if we click this icon over here, we would be able to add a group of employees or import the employee. We could also search. We could also filter by person. We could filter it by anything. We could also sort any column or hide columns. Now on the three dots, we can pin columns, item hide, change the conditional coloring, and change the item default values. And then this is our columns over here. As you can see for this one, we cannot edit this column. But for these other areas over here, you can simply click on them and then we would be able to change. And then we would be able to edit the content of the column. We can also change the name of the employee by simply clicking on the employee name. And then if we click on op open, we would be able to give updates to the specific employer by simply entering our message over here. We can also add files and then check our activity log. We could also automate our table by clicking this option over here and we can integrate it by clicking this button. Now to edit our entire board over here, we could simply click on this three dots on the top right 
and then we could power and then we could use board power ups which and then we and then we have the board power ups we have the board permission board settings board notifications more actions such as save as template and many more we could archive the board we can delete the board or we can give feedback or trash the board now you can re now you can rearrange the employee by clicking on the employee and then dragging it around just like that you can rearrange them you could also transfer the employee from the first week to the full month category by clicking and dragging them just like that and you can change their status by clicking on this icon over here you can change it to working on it stop or done you could also add more labels such as such as in a break and then you can click on apply and now we have the status in a break over here you could also add more columns by clicking on this button over here and then these are the options that you have you have the status you have text you have people drop down dates numbers super useful things such as files connects monday docs timeline formula checkbox priority and label you could also click on more columns to be redirected to this column center where you could see more columns that you can add to your board you could also click on this boxes over here on the left side so you can select multiple employees and you can either duplicate export archive delete convert to or you can move them to a different location you could also select an entire category by simply clicking on this icon and then this will select all the employees that are in this category called first week but to see the options for this first week category you could simply click on these three dots on the left side and then you could choose the options collapse this group collapse all group select all employee expand all sub items collapse all sub items you could add group duplicate group move group you could rename it you could rename it you change the group color you could export or you can delete now if you want to have another workspace you can simply click here on the left and then click add item and then you can create a new board a new docs new dashboard you could choose from templates you can import data from this different sources you can add a new form or you can add a new folder you could also click this button over here which will add a new view for you and then you can choose from a table a dashboard a chart a kanban a grant cards for files gallery and apps for now i'm going to choose kanban and as you can see our group is now being shown in a kanban format and then we can add more views we can add dashboard and then we can add our employee over here for our dashboard and then we can add widgets over here like the charts just like that as you can see here we have a chart for our employees and you can add more if you want to that's it guys that's how you use monday.com to create an hr for your company or your business and thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy